From Jacksonville to College Station, home to Kyle Field, where they've been playing football here since 1905. It's the last non-conference game of the season for Texas A&M. They host UTSA from the recruiting class coming in. Jimbo Fisher might be putting the pieces together for a nice run here in the next couple of seasons. UTSA will get the football first. A&M won the toss, so they defer. And the Roadrunners will start just outside the 15-yard line. Here to UTSA was a backup to Frank Harris, who got hurt and turns it over to Lowell Narcisse, who starts this one with a completion to Griffin. Good job of trying to create positive plays for him in this offense. Roadrunners had a week off after the win over Rice. That handoff goes to Sincere McCormick, a young man from Converse, Texas. Boy, he is a good-looking, true freshman running back. Close from Texas A&M. Griffin goes in motion around the quarterback. Narcisse will try to throw that one in there to his tight end. It's incomplete. Gavin Sharp, the intended target. Just don't make freshmen like they're making them here at Texas A&M anymore, and he's a big part of that front. Narcisse will try to take that 6'3", 230-pound frame and pick up a couple of yards, but give him one. And there is a guy. Narcisse looks like he had a little option game going, and well, that option was not the right one. DeMarvin Leal, the young man we were just speaking of, with a big play on third down for a loss of three. And the youngster from Australia, the freshman, averaging 41.6 yards per punt this year. That one will take a favorable roadrunner bounce inside the 20 down to the 16-yard line. That'll be a 50-yard punt. So when the guys around him are making plays, certainly Kellen Mond, Looks like a more effective, efficient quarterback. He will hand it off to the freshman Isaiah Spiller, who will pick up a couple of yards. Pocket collapsed, and down goes Mond. Cassius Grady, loss of six. A Spiller. So now it's third down and long. Mond going up top. That pass is incomplete. Anaya Smith was the intended target, and the Roadrunners get a stop. It's a three and out. Nine, eight yards per punt. Nobody in the game has ever done that. And hits another boomer. Kirk Johnson backpedals and stumbles around the 30. And he has wrestled out of bounds after a 59-yard punt. That's, this guy that's is unbelievable. unbelievable. There is a flag down. Outside. Receiving team. That penalty is declined. Be first down, Texas San Antonio. We'll talk more about him throughout the day just because he could go down as the greatest punter in the history of college football when he walks out of College Station with a degree in hand. And down and nine. Narcisse pump fakes. He's got a little bit of room to run. He'll pick it up to the 39-yard line. Narcisse backpedals, passes caught coming near sides. Zakari Franklin with the reception. That'll be a first down for the Roadrunners into Aggie territory after the 15 yard game. Creating the separation to complete a big third down. Near side passes caught by Sincere. McCormick cuts it back, cuts it again to the 10, to the 5, down to the two yard line. Renfro drags him down, but not before McCormick picks up 44. On the inside, number 19, who has him on the inside, gets blocked off by the pressure, and he's unable to get to the edge, and you see UTSA going fast. That play went nowhere as, uh, nowhere as Lowell Narcisse stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Narcisse trying to get the corner, and he does. The Roadrunners jump out in front on the road untouched into the end zone. That's the athleticism you have when you have Loyal Narcisse. You got to remember, this is a kid that was at LSU. So coming here to Texas a Point after is up and good. <laughs> Important. <laughs> Reveille is. Anaya Smith will take this around the five. Breaks a couple of tackles there, trying to get the corner here, and he'll be 
run out of bounds near the 25 yard line and a flag will come in late yeah i think we got a face mask right there and he pulled a nice face mask i think that's going to be paul personal foul face mask kicking team number 13 15 yard penalty from the end of the run first down so the front having this one to keep it and play better they'll run it with spiller big hole foot race he's at the 20 down to the 10. Can he get there? Yes, he can. 60-yard touchdown. That'll wake him up at Kyle Field. So Spiller with his sixth rushing touchdown. And, and, and it's funny you used the word run over because Spiller was a guy that got ran over for the sack and now he just yeah. right. runs right through a UTSA defense. Jamal Sam on the return. Narcisse pass is complete. They will spot that out near the 36 yard line. Not four yards. Moving in the pocket really well too. They'll hand it off with Sincere McCormick, and he got hit by Anthony Hines. No gain on the play. He's a lot of guys he's coached and what they've done on the next level. Wolfson up in the air. That is incomplete. Trying to hit Blaze Moorhead, one of the great names for a wide receiver. Nickel State graduate. Bringing some pressure. Narcisse avoids it. How in the world did he get away from that? That should have been a loss of 10. Instead, he picks up a yard. Lucas Dean back on the field and the Australian with a wobbly kick that will hit around the 35. Take a favorable Aggie bounce out to the 37. Last possession with one play for a touchdown. This one, a big hitter over the middle. Caught by Jamon Osbin into Roadrunner territory and that'll pick up 16 yards. Mon forced to throw to the wide side, hits Osmond again. Nope. Down in Florida. Roommates there, continue to be roommates here. That one sails over the head of Kendrick Rogers. On third down and two, it'll be a two tight end look. They'll run it. Fullback lead. Spiller hit right at the line of scrimmage. I don't know that he got it. He may have gotten a yard, but that may be a yard shot. And Spiller, he should have it. He gets it to the 35-yard line. Picked up a couple of yards, needed one. They will hand it to Richardson. Coming near side, breaks a tackle and almost broke a second tackle and slaps the turf. Picks up eight. Big time as they get closer to the red zone. Mond will keep it and well played by the Roadrunners. Nice job on the edge from Cassius Grady. Again, a couple of tight ends in the I formation. They'll run it. Spiller breaks a couple of tackles inside the 20 down to the 19-yard line. There is Harris to make the tackle, but another seven yards on the ground for the true freshman Isaiah Spiller. Number one offensive tackle in the country coming to Texas A&M. Richardson, nice little stutter step will get him into the end zone from 19 yards out. to the end zone from his counter made on the back end. Seth Small with the point after now. 34 out of 34 on the year. Last time we saw Vandy had a big win versus Missouri. That kickoff sails into the end zone. Down at 10 for the Roadrunners. Big hole for Sincere McCormick, and he is tripped up across the 40. Leon O'Neill saved a huge touchdown run. That's still 18 yards, though. And it's just an inside zone power kind of play. They do a good job of walling off everything from the backside. Buddy Johnson jumps outside the linebacker, and Sincere McCormick is a 
He's not a big guy, but he's a, a guy who can fit through some small cracks as he did right then. Four carries, 30 yards. Excuse me. Yeah, four carries, 30 yards for McCormick. Also has a 44-yard reception. He'll pick up six more there. Bobby Brown, a deep tackle, making the stop. And this is what I like about offenses sometimes. You get away from things when they work. They came right back and ran the exact same play to the other side to pick up some more positive yards. McCormick with three more yards. Sincere out of Judson High School, which produced the same high school as DeMarvin Leal on this team, who is the outstanding defensive end for Texas A&M. I wonder when those two guys will go nose to nose. But right now it's Lowell Narcisse, the quarterback, who will have the first down at the Aggie 40. Leon O'Neill bringing him down after a gain of eight. Yeah, you just lose containment on that right side. And when you have an athletic quarterback like Lowell Narcisse, he's going to make you pay every single time. And that's what the effect of the run game does to a defensive line. You get so infatuated with what's happening with the running back, you forget about the QB. Narcisse. Buddy Johnson came up from his middle linebacker on a second down and 10. Marcis will keep it himself, and he is hit and dropped back at the 43. That'll be a loss of three. Big third down, though, here. Narcisse throws, and it's incomplete. It'll be fourth down coming up. Ball sits at about the 42. Dean. Will punt it away. End over end kick. Fair catch called for by Anaya Smith inside the 10 yard line. Jayshon Corbin, who went down early in the year, is a guy who Spiller had to take over for. Pass caught on the outside. Nice grab by Rodgers. He'll be wrestled to the turf after a nine yard pickup by Cassius Grady. Tough offense to kind of figure out with Jimbo Fisher. He'll have the first down. They'll run with Spiller there. He'll pick up a couple of yards. Eight coming out of high school was an Under Armour and Army All-American. Wide open over the middle of the field goes Kendrick Rogers. He's to the 34-yard line. That's a gain of 16. A 67-yard drive in six plays. Two straight touchdowns by the Aggies. And they lead by seven as Anaya Smith makes the catch. Running back, a wide receiver, a quarterback, a jack of all trades. And they will get him the football on the outside here. Get it to the 40 yard line, a six yard pickup. Get the football. Flag on the field. His older brother, Maurice, of course, played at Alabama and at Georgia as a defensive back now in the National Football League. Illegal substitution against the defense. 12 men in the formation. Five yard penalty results in the first down. That'll be a delay game against Texas A&M. Delay of game. Offense. Five-yard penalty. First down. That was a quick 25 seconds. That it? was pretty quick. Boy, Spiller runs into a wall of white jerseys. No gain on the play. Four-man rush. Bond steps up in the pocket. He'll run for it, and he will get hit around the 48-yard line. Eight and a half, maybe nine yards for Mond. Third down and seven. Four-man rush. Boy, there was a lot of contact. Osmond hit the turf. I think some feet just got tangled up, and that one's incomplete. Yeah, that's for sure. A little contact at the top of this route here. And I think that would be a pass interference <laughs> in my book. Yeah. <laughs> he had him totally wrapped up. So I pump, but I tell you what, it gives us an opportunity to watch <laughs> Braden Mann again. This one is an end over end kick that hangs in the air for an eternity. Fair catch called for by Kirk Johnson. ESPN app. Roadrunners. There's a bunch of flags coming out as Michael Clemens with a dangerous face mask on Lowell Narcisse. Hey, he's got to let that thing go. He never let it go. I mean, 
That was a great job of beating his tackle, but look at that. Oh, he never man. lets it go. Face mask. Defense, number 91. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. It's four of eight, 84 yards through the air. A little tap pass coming to Sincere McCormick. Read well by the Aggies, and not a lot of room to run. Michael Clements taking a... Narcisse steps up in the pocket and he is wrapped up and dropped. Justin Matabike, a three yard loss. Well, that D line the last couple of years making it a third and 14. Narcisse, though, trying to run for it. Spins close to the line to gain. Need to get it to the 39. Let's see where they spot it. Leon O'Neill brings him down and. Let's see if they use him in the QB sneak. They will. Sincere McCormick, nowhere to run. Anthony Hines, first one there, a loss of four. Well, there's not going to be. Carlos Strickland, 85, has been their big weapon at the tight end spot. Narcisse trying to run. He'll pick up some positive yardage out over the 45. Buddy Johnson tracks him down, but. Brady in motion. Coming near side to Brady, who makes the catch, and he is wrapped up. I tell you what, here we go. They're going to they're be about a half a yard shy again. Keldrick Carper there to make the play after a two yard gain. So fourth down and about a yard. Roadrunners want to line up in a hurry. Similar to what they had last time, about the same yardage. They'll do the quarterback sneak. Ooh, I don't think he got it, but I think Texas A&M called a timeout. Oh, yeah. They're going to wish they had that one best. Fourth and a yard. Oh, and some movement on the left side. That is. False start. Offense, number 65. Five yard penalty. Fourth down. Dean, low line drive kick. That will hit at the 20 and stop at the 21. Time out on the field. Back between these two teams, and that's going to be a fun one to watch later. Isaiah Spiller, who left the game a little nicked up in the last possession for the Aggies, back on the field. He'll pick up two yards. Texas A&M, 163, time of possession, 13 and change for UTSA, 11 and a half for the Aggies. And there's a, another good defensive play by the Roadrunners as Mond is dropped for a loss of eight. Eric Banks, the senior out of Memphis, gets credit for that sack. Well, you're just watching right in the middle. He's right here in the middle of the screen, and he's just going to push the pocket right up into the face of Kelly Mond. And on the year at almost 44 percent fourth in the conference they'll hand it off to Spiller left side he needs a lot of blocks doesn't get enough offense to work from way back in their own territory his fourth punt of the game another tight spiral boomer to Kirk Johnson who drops it at the 18 it's out of bounds and he got saved by forcing that one across the sideline a 54 yard punt for Braden Mann types of punts that he can use and that one there is one he works on all the time pinning you back and then just dropping it off right on the sideline that's that's unreal. Narcisse boy he got walloped right around the 19 yard line he'll pick up four yards but Keldrick Carper UTSA Roadrunners eh? Of course, Peter, big day for him because he was a roadrunner. Played some golf at UTSA. Watching his team hang tough with Texas A&M is Zachary Franklin, the true freshman. Who's a better golfer, you? Indo Red wobbly kick taken by Anaya Smith. He's got a little bit of room. He's in the roadrunner territory, and he'll be dropped around the 42-yard line. So a nice little 18-yard return for Smith and a short field to work with. For Texas A&M with 138 before halftime. And through the air. We'll throw it here. Goes near side, hit Osmond, and he'll stay in bounds. I don't think he got the first down, so actually they will stop it. It'll be close to the line to gain with the timeout remaining. Four-man rush. 
pass was batted at the line of scrimmage looking for Cameron Buckley. Style of offense we saw last week. Over the middle. Smith breaks the tackle. Still on his feet inside the 10. He's down to the seven yard line. 25 yards for Anaya Smith. You watch Anaya Smith, watch how he comes into the void area, but watch how he sits down right, right in this area, doesn't run into trouble, and just finds a little voided space there, and Kellen Mond finds him for a big game. That's the next step for a young receiver like that, understanding coverage and where to go. Clock under 30 seconds. Pressure comes up the middle to the end zone. Touchdown, Watermeyer from seven yards away. Four-star tight end with his sixth touchdown reception of the year. Have a jewel in Jalen Watermeyer, no doubt about it. It was only a matter of time. We haven't called his name much in this ball game, and you're something to contend with. Come next year, they have both those guys out there. And he loves the tight end. Don't forget, Jay Sternberger had ten touchdown receptions a year ago for Texas A&M. Well, that will do it for the first Sandem offense and are really playing good football. And the Aggies will get the football first to start the third quarter. Anaya Smith on this return. And he is out to the 19-yard line. Spiller out to the 28-yard line. That's a gain of eight on 10 carries. They'll run him again. He'll be just shy of the for some breathing room. Spiller comes in formation. They'll fake it to him. Roll it out near side to Weidermeyer, and he'll have the first down and a lot more. Big fella picks up 12, 6'5, 260, the freshman out of Dickinson, Texas. Yeah, he just comes from his top side here and just comes across here. And now you get a free access to throw this football. Good conversion there in your big tight end in space and now you can start to get this drive going as once they finally get him into this strength system to see how big he can be. Spiller, big hole. He'll get it into Roadrunner territory after a nine-yard game. Carl Austin drags him down. And he may have a bunch more on that total. He's to the 10, to the 5. Does he get there? Yes, he does! Isaiah Spiller spills into the end zone for a 50-yard touchdown run. How lovely is it when you get there? But watch to see if he gets into the end zone. See if his knee stays up off the ground. Or if that elbow hit right shy of the pylon here. Looks like he does a good job keeping his knees off the ground. I don't know if that ball crossed the plane. It's hard to tell. Well, we don't have a, line, a look right down that line. And again, the call was touchdown, so it has to be. After review, the ruling on the field stands. Touch Point after. Up and good. One more look at the run by Isaiah Spiller. You got two guys working together, Kenyon Green and you got also Carson Green there working on the edge there, which creates that run here. Watch they seal that looks left side down. You see the small crease that he hits and then Spiller making a guy miss on the second level. And Vernon Jackson, a couple of running backs to injuries this year, and you hope somebody, the third guy, can step up, and they have found one in Mr. Spiller. Jamal Sam on this return breaks the tackle, and he's out to the 35-yard line, a 33-yard return. Let's go down to Dawn. The word around this program. Delay of game. Offense. Five-yard penalty. First down.
Sincere McCormick pushed out of bounds by Buddy Johnson. TSA chasing the chains again. Second down and 12. Narcisse dancing around, trying to buy a little bit of time. Throws on the run, and that'll be incomplete on the far side. High school. Safety blitz from Keldrick Carper. Big hit around the 45, and Narcisse will pick up the first down. 13-yard gain, and that 6'3", 230-pound frame got him the first down. Yeah, we were down on the field before the game, and I said, this is a big boy down here playing to be the spark they need on offense to get going. Throw underneath is caught by the tight end, Strickland. For more on Narcisse, it's three before coming here to Kyle Field. He'll try to run for that first down, but he'll get out of bounds about four yards shy. He'll mark it at the 46-yard line, give him six more yards. He'll push the pocket here to the near side. Narcisse is hammered, and a flag comes in. He got hit right in the chin by Anthony Hines. Man. The ruling on the field is targeting by the defense number 19. The previous players on a further review. Helped off the field. We will break it down when we come back. Timeout. Well, after further review, it was determined that Anthony Hines did not make contact above the head and neck area, did not lead with the crown of his helmet. And so there is no foul for targeting, and it was an incomplete pass, but not. End over end punt. Anaya Smith. Kelly Week. Hand off here. Breaks a tackle and is tripped up. How about Spiller's, some of his touchdown runs? He's had 85. Pass caught by Kendrick Rogers. Trying to break a tackle. He gets it out to the 19. Good enough for the first down. That'll be. Guys are in the box now trying to stop the run. Didn't work. Spiller, another huge run to midfield. Out of bounds around the 40. He is now closing in on 200 yards after that 42 yard pickup. And you just watch him get to the edge here. Everybody's stretching, pulling, getting around. And you see Richardson out in front blocking. And you see Osborne, the receiver outside, blocking the perimeter edge blocking there for Texas A&M. First down and 10 from the 39. He'll go again left side. The guy just goes 42-yard sprint, right? <laughs> On second down, they'll go with Richardson. And with that, time to get an update. Dari, what's going on? Osman goes in motion behind the formation. Mon to throw. Coming back to Spiller. Trying to set up a little bit of a screen. And does he get enough for the first down? I don't know if he did. It's going to be close. Yeah. The old school power football. And Spiller will be close to that line. If we come back for the years, I mean, we have can, to go see that, right? Yeah, I mean, check I'm, that out. That looked pretty extravagant. Mond over the middle pass caught Weinermeyer inside the 10. He's down to the eight yard line. Boy, you see some of that athletic ability, the way he's able to move that big frame. It was an outstanding high school basketball player, and you can see some of that at work with that young fella. I mean, how how fortunate are you, Kellen Mond, to have the catch radius of Weinermeyer yeah. there? I mean, that was at least two feet above his head, and he goes up and snags it on that big deep over crossing route. Spiller left side untouched into the end zone from eight yards out. A career day for Isaiah Spiller, his third rushing touchdown of the day, and it's his shortest at eight yards. Point after by Seth Small is up and good. Third, four more rushing yards for the single game rushing record by a freshman. At Texas A&M, held by Trevian Williams. 
It was kind of one of those, he had his helmet, we saw him, he looked healthy as he jogged into the locker room like it wasn't a lower body situation. Didn't need any help. Get That handoff goes to Brendan Brady for an eight-yard pickup. Let's go down. Down, second down. Throws on the run, and that one will be incomplete. So now third down and two. Inside handoff goes to Brady, and he'll have the first down as he gets to the 30-yard line. Three to South Carolina. Another inside handoff, and that one will get to the 35-yard line. Pick up a five for Brendan Brady. Weeks going up top off the fingertips of his intended receiver, Dewan Griffin, what, evaluated by that training staff. Pass is caught by the tight end. Gap. The right hand. Was taped up heavily. Left-handed quarterback. Right. Not the same run game with Jordan Weeks. He should tight end. Pressure up the middle. Flag comes out, but Weeks is dropped by Keldrick Carper. A loss of nine. They brought the house. No answers for UTSA. Personal foul. Hands to the face. Offense, number 23. That penalty is declined. Fourth down. Third sack. Seventh tackle behind the line. Fair catch by... Anaya Smith, 30 decade. Herschel Walker was making a name for himself in Athens, Georgia. Matter of fact, that year. Make sure they account for him. Spiller again, trying to stretch that one out. Gets it over the 30 to the 32 for a couple of yards. Bond will throw over the middle. Pass is caught. Osbin. Into UTSA territory at the 48. Picks up 20 more there. And in all of college football. Incomplete as we start the fourth quarter, 35-7. No idea. Maybe Don can tell him. Well, they're going <laughs> to throw it here. Mon stands in the pocket, going far side. Pass caught. Javon Osman. Cassius Grady was running stride for stride, but that was executed perfectly by Kellen Mon to Javon Osman. 36 yards. Look at this ball where it's placed right on the outside shoulder. And you just watch how good Osborne is right here. Stutter, stuttering go there gets the defensive back to. Stop. He didn't throw their first catch, or Osman didn't catch his first pass from Kellen Mond until they were at IMG Academy. Weidermeyer almost got it in, but it wasn't until they got to IMG Academy that they actually threw together. The Spiller trying to get it into the end zone. He might be a little bit shy. You see the previous play with Spiller trying to get into the end zone there, held up right before he gets to. So that's small, busy day for him as he splits the uprights. That's 42 unanswered. Drew Reitman will kick it off, and he will sail it through the back of the end zone. <laughs> Just because? <laughs> Just uh -uh. Uh -uh. There's uh, always a reason. No, I, I, I think... Clemson. The layup game. Offense. Five yard penalty. First down. For an elite football team. That's why that's why Clemson to me is a little bit higher than perhaps you have them. Well, I think everybody looks at Clemson of last year. Let's say LSU Alabama game, whoever wins that whoever wins that game. Let's say Florida beats Georgia. I know that's gonna be painful. Let's just say that happens. But I definitely believe that LSU Alabama game has a lot of stake on 
what happens and who gets into that ball game. And maybe some people are saying fourth down and a yard, and the Roadrunners trying to go for it. I don't know that he got it. Oh, he, he didn't go in. Jordan Weeks, I, it almost looked like his, he slipped trying to get that extra push and could not gain any traction. And the Aggies will hold and get the football. Him to do a whole lot today. Didn't need to. And you're right. When they had to throw the football in certain spots, he did a good job of being active in the football. And that is no lie. I watched him down on the sideline before the ball game and talked to Jimbo before the ball game. And he said, Watch this kid. The ball comes out of his hands with some pace. Trying to throw here, but going to have to tuck it and run. But now they've kind of moved him to out of that spot and around the offense at running back receiver slot kind of an H back there's a flag on the far side I, I don't know why Cassius Grady is looking at the umpire I mean, look at Harris, defense number 28 15 yard penalty automatic first down Dylan Wright the yard line Alzada he will stumble to the 23 yard line lose a couple of yards. Let's get it up. To There's not a lot of addition in terms of players. There's a lot of subtraction between injuries and suspensions. It's been tough. For no, right. not at all. Yeah. Alzada steps up in the pocket pump fakes and he will be dropped back at the 28. Five-yard field goal attempt for Seth Small as long this year's 50 against Arkansas. And this one will split the uprights as he hammers that one home from 45 yards out. Now 12 out of 16 on the year. It's right here on the SEC Network. And, of course, you can always catch it on the ESPN app. Dees, who was playing a pretty decent ball game here on the road, making just his fourth start. Handoff goes to Sincere McCormick, the true freshman out of Converse, Texas, with a dozen yards. Good looking. Moving forward, he could still sling it. That's still tough, though. You know, he was making his fourth start. We talked about things were starting to finally slow down for him. Yeah. He was starting to tune the play, and not sure how long he'd be out now. Quick slants, a little too high for Griffin. It'll be incomplete. From that quarterback position, really sets you back. Another high throw. Here a football. A lot of football been <laughs> played here at College Station for a while. Cam Brown. Oh, and that return out to the 27 yard line. Running the football. But that defensive line of Florida, I think, is going to be the difference maker in that ball game. They can find a way to get some pressure on Jake Fromm. You got it you got because uh, this ball game, that defensive front is going to get after the offensive line. Now, Georgia's offensive line coming into this season, everybody talked about supposed to be going to the back game. If they can create some space on the outside, you got a chance to put up some points against that Florida defense. The number is so big. I mean, you, you watch LSU this year, and they're getting everybody back on defense. And offensively, they've been probably the best team in the country on the offensive side of the ball. LSU has good catch by Cam Brown gets him a first down Calzada to throw again and he'll hit the receiver around the 40 yard line percent and if he's 70 or 80 percent that has to bode well for LSU yeah I think if they're both happy uh, healthy Ball and star. happy you gotta be happy right <laughs> Offense, number 60, five yard penalty. second down uh, you know I, I think it's a that list right there, not a lot of differences, and it could go either way on both sides. That pass is picked off, and it's going to go the distance. 58 yards. Dadrian Taylor, the sophomore out of Shiner, Texas. <laughs> there we go. I mean, that was... Uh... They were sitting on. Listen, they have coming up. He has to be prepared and ready to go if his name's called. And here's 
Here's the return. Big hit at the end of that. Time for our five-star play of the day brought to you by Yellowwood. And for that, it's Isaiah Spiller's first touchdown of the day, the first of three. Downhill pressing the line of scrimmage, and then we talk about it all the time. You get this kid in space, he's going to make a lot of people miss with that speed he has. But he ran hard. He ran physical. He was the difference maker for Texas A&M today in that run game. Spiller with a huge day. 217 yards rushing. During the return, personal foul, illegal blindside block. Number 24, the receiving team, half the distance to the goal, first down. So Spiller, looks like his day is done at 217 yards on the ground. Correction, which the player who committed the foul was number 32. Ties the freshman single game rushing record. Ravion Williams had 217 against Tennessee back in 2016. Oh, when you have a day like this, regardless of opponent, give you tons of confidence. Calzada will sling it near side. That'll pick up five yards. Interception. He comes back the first play and throws the football, trying to get his confidence back right, but that just shows you he is always coaching these guys. Yeah, he said he can play tight end, running back, wherever they put him at, he, he could be good. Calzada will run for it, and he'll have the first down. And Things as Jimbo is as well, so it's good to see him get in here and get some action and get some quality time in this ballgame. Blumber picks up five. Sixth win of the year, and this will be their third in a row. Up until last week, it had just been a win one, lose one, win one, lose one type of season for the Aggies. If you don't know, you got to watch those guys. That is incomplete, and that'll bring up a fourth down situation. So Braden Mann doesn't get to punt here. Averaging 50 yards a punt today. Dave, I know how distraught you are not being able to see Braden Mann punt it one more time. Nick Constantino will punt it away. The left footer. Boy, he hits a boomer. Oh, man. A tight spiral down to the 10 where Johnson corrals it, and he's wrapped up there. That's 56 on a rope. Number one guy was excited. Braden man down there. I watched him down there on the sideline. He was hyped to see him punt that football. Look at him. <laughs> How you love that. That was a boomer. What is it? Maybe something in the water. Right <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Ball just comes off a hey, so different way off their foot. The, some of the, one of the best moments of the weekend, though, was you trying to catch one of Braden Man's punch yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Slipped out my hands, man. That's all. You had a chance to catch up with Braden yesterday in the indoor facility. And this is it right here. This is what it looked like. Look at DJ. It just went through my hand. <laughs> and then we tried it again. Uh, oh, hit the that, light. One, that one hit the light. <laughs> <laughs> that one hit the light stone. Now, uh, that one, you, 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 can't, you can't fault me for that yes, one. I that can. one hit the light. Yeah, oh, yes, I had to I can. come up like 30 did. yards. Pass is caught there for Franklin. But the best part of that <laughs> Well, look, he had to run 20 yards to pick it up if it didn't hit his face. So that was... Again, they dominate time of possession up over 35 minutes today. And there's a loose football, and it's taken away by the Aggies. Mitchell Howard gets in there to force this fumble. The old strip sack. A lot of guys getting some time right there. That is That's what one like, happy yeah. moment right there for Mitchell Howard. <laughs> the senior out of Cypress, Texas. On senior day. Yep. Getting him a big play. 
drop this one and go to three and five. They'll be at, at Old Dominion next week. And that one is picked off. Eric Young with the interception. Another freshman, a true freshman out of Richmond, Texas. Blumrick will carry it here, and that'll be the final play as he picks up four yards. So Texas A&M will push their record to six and three. As they win it 45 to 14. As they become bowl eligible for the 11th consecutive season. Fell behind seven to nothing, then rattled off 45 straight to take complete control of this game. The story really, Isaiah Spiller with 217 yards rushing, averaging almost 11 yards a carry, had three touchdown rushes as well. Osmond, five catches, 90 yards. Weidemeyer with four catches and a touchdown as well. Let's go down to Dome.